Today we're seeing an incredible townhouse, unlike anything else in the city. This elegant masterpiece has two floors, three terraces, and three bathrooms. Fun fact, this used to be the former home of John Lennon, but I don't think it needs to be famous to be an incredible place, which you can have for $4.2 million. Should I have said only $4.2 million? $4.2 million. Here we are in Midtown East. That's Lexington Avenue. And the apartment is a 10 minute walk from this subway station. Which, let's face it, you'll probably never use. But if you do, directly across the street, there's a Paris baguette and a local coffee shop. Look at all the sweet treats. That and a cup of coffee, that would do it for me every day. Unfortunately, next to that, there's a Chipotle. If you want a fake soggy burrito, this is your spot. Good chicken. Sounds pretty good. There's another coffee spot. Spot, which is actually pretty packed. I haven't been, it looks good. And if you're looking to open a bank account and ethics don't matter to you, you can choose between Wells Fargo and Capital One. Capital One doesn't have one sign in the window about how they can save you money. And that should tell you something. We've got something over here. It's a little Japanese restaurant. And next to it, there's this place, Calamari. I'm gonna guess it's Italian. This building looks important. Consulate General of Hungary. If you thought that was an Italian flag and you you were educated in America, you'd probably still pass history class. This little ramen place over here, Toto Ramen, absolutely fantastic. It's also right next to Japanese barbecue. You haven't lived until you've had this. I've been to Japan four times. It's everywhere over there and that little place is pretty good. On the corner, we have Mimi's Italian Restaurant. Apparently this place has been here for a long time. But if that place is too fancy for you, try this little pizzeria. Which is hiring for basically everything. Here we've got a wine bar, a barber shop, and another barber shop. I wonder if both barber shops are owned by the same company. That would be smart. This looks interesting. It looks like it is a Norwegian seaman's church. If you've got the mouth of a sailor, that right there, stop by once a week. Oh, this looks like the right idea. Pizzeria and wine bar right around the corner from the apartment. And it looks like they've even got gelato. And next to that, there's a cheese shop. If you move here and get bored, it's your fault. He agrees. I I think these are the same person. Do you like the neighborhood? It's pretty far east, so you have to walk a little bit to transportation. Okay. But the buses are pretty reliable, and there's a lot of great little places around here. So the place that we're looking at today? Yes. It's $4.2 million. Whoa. Will that person take the bus? Probably not. <laughs> they probably have a car. <laughs> Love it. This is the building. Let's head upstairs and take a look. probably take my shoes off. All right, let's go. If you have fun watching, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I do tours like this every single week and I don't want you to miss one. Check this out. Before you even enter the apartment, this is where the elevator lets you out. And that little entrance is nicer than most apartments in this city. Next to the front door, you've got all closets and then you walk into this awesome living space, which has a working fireplace and the first of the three terraces we get to see. Oh man, this is great. Having something like this right off your living room. You can walk out and grow some plants. These might already be fully grown, but you can water them. There's also tons of little furniture pieces. You've got a dining table out here. Dinner outside with friends. I think that's in order if you live here. This is so beautiful. The living space is 12 feet, 10 inches by 16 feet. Now there's no TV here, but inside this media closet is where we find one right there. Down the hallway here, we find two more rooms. And Pam, the listing agent, if you wanna buy this place, I'm gonna put all her contact info in the video description. This dining room is absolutely beautiful. I kind of feel poor just being in here. Now, of course, it's got its own entry point. 
out to the terrace that we were on earlier. And this is a big space, 16 feet by 11 feet. Six person table, no problem. Grandfather clock, massive china cabinet. It's becoming obvious to me that every room in here kind of has its own personality. That's something you don't see every day. Now next to the dining room, we've got the kitchen. The kitchen itself has everything. There's a full size fridge, microwave, four burner oven, dishwasher, and dun -da -da -da, a sink sprayer. There's also a little table here for quick meals, like a bowl of fruity pebbles. And over here is the laundry room. There's also also a door here that leads to the hallway. I guess if you're fighting with your in-laws and you need to escape, that's where you can do that. This looks like the first bathroom. Ooh, this is nice. It looks like a half bath, but I suppose if you bought this, you could put in a full if that's what you wanted. Upstairs, we've got a whole lot more to check out. And this is where things get really cool. At the top of the floor, we've got this huge bedroom. It's also got a fireplace and it has its own terrace. We're looking right out over the water. You can see downtown and let's get a thumbs up for all the plants and stuff up here that really adds a cool element of privacy and this is so much nicer than say building up this railing back inside this bedroom's 23 feet 8 inches by 11 feet 1 inch any size bed you want, go ahead. Love this seating next to the fireplace. This dresser's fantastic, and if you want to work from home, this would have been a distraction-free environment if it weren't for the view. This bedroom also has its own bathroom, and it's pretty nice. You've got two sinks, which each have their own cabinets above and beneath, and look at this shower. There's two wands and sprayers on both sides. This will clean anything, no matter how dirty it is, in about 10 seconds. Down the hall here, we've got even more surprises. This little room would be a good guest bedroom. How big is it? 10 feet, five inches by 11 feet, four inches. But with a place like this, once someone's sleeping here, they're not gonna wanna leave. But if you can afford to buy this, I'm sure you can afford to hire an attorney and get rid of them. Next to that, there's this amazing sitting room, which also has its own terrace. All right, this is the smallest of the three terraces, but still pretty neat. You could definitely do something creative with this. So originally, all of this that you see right now was an outdoor terrace, but permission was given to extend the roof and build this room. And to me, that looks like it was the right decision. This space is 18 by 15 feet, nine inches. Check this out. It looks like there's even a little gas fireplace in here. That's hot. Now, just down the hall here, we have another bathroom. Look at this. That is so cool. First of all, this bathtub looks insanely relaxing. Looks like a jacuzzi tub. Plus you've got a little window and look at the sink. Oh, that is so neat. And there's a medicine cabinet right here. Wait, I'm dumb, these are just mirrors. But boy, you can get a really good angle to make sure you shave your beard in a straight line. Can you tell I don't have this in my apartment? If you've got any questions about this beautiful place, you need to talk to Pam. This is her listing, and I'm gonna have all her info in the video description. And then pick another apartment tour right here, and I will see you in the next video.